parts of speech look at the sentence below shumona is a brilliant student shumona is a brilliant student you can divide the above sentence in different parts such as shumona is a brilliant student again this parts play different functions as shumona refers to a person is a uh, states something brilliant gives more information about a student a student uh, refers to shumona now you understand that in parts of speech words are classified according to their function uh, functions in english there are eight parts of speech we have in english language and in this video i will discuss about parts of speech and uh, and its uh, classifications okay let's start for the classifications of parts of speech and in this video uh, we will learn about parts of speech in detail let's start this video before starting seriously here we have a poem about parts of speech uh by reading or hearing this poem uh we can learn about parts of speech with enjoy okay let's play the let's play the uh, poem every name is called noun every name is called noun as field and function street and town in place of noun the pro- pronoun stands in place of noun Uh, the pronoun stands as he and she can clap their hands the adjective describes a thing the adjective describes a thing as magic wand and bridal ring the verb means action uh, something done the verb means action something done to read to write to jump to run how, how things are done that verb still as quickly slowly badly well the preposition shows relation the preposition shows relation uh, as in the street or at the station okay conjunction uh, join in many ways conjunctions join in many ways sentences words phrases and clauses the interjection cries out hark i need an exclamation mark okay uh, don't be serious uh, now we will learn about parts of speech in detail okay here uh, we will learn about term noun okay nouns a noun is a word used to name something used to name something a person animal a place a thing or an idea for example all of the following are nouns rahul and hamida malik these are uh, names of a uh, person and then uh, japan venezuela the uh, atlantic london the bay of bengal these are names uh, pencil a uh, store music yeah these are also names a uh, biology honesty uh, geometry these are also names okay uh, now i can understand we can understand the all kinds of names are nouns after nouns we have pronouns a pronoun is a word that uh, replaces a noun that replaces a noun it helps us to avoid a repetition for example instead of elena talked to elena's child i repeat elena talked to elena's child you might you might say you might say elena talked to her child her is a pronoun it refers to the noun elena okay these are pronouns after pronouns in english a uh, preposition uh, 
parts of speech we have adjectives adjectives an adjective uh, modifies or describes a noun or pronoun usually in english the adjective comes before the noun for example the smart the smart student aren't an a adjectives also come after linking verbs for example i feel happy okay after adjectives in personal speech we have verbs verbs generally express an action or a state of being there are several classifications of verbs there are several classifications of verbs action verbs linking verbs main verbs auxiliary verbs transitive uh, uh, transitive and uh, phrasal verbs and more for example action verbs uh, shows action action verbs shows action uh, such as uh, he runs he runs she plays they study and linking verbs link the subject to an adjective or a noun uh, such as motin is intelligent motin is intelligent and uh, he is a teacher here the linking verbs connect the adjectives intelligent or noun teacher with the subject okay after verbs uh, in parts of speech we have adverbs an adverb is a word uh, that modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb i repeat an adverb is a word that modifies a verb an adjective or another adverb there uh, the teacher carefully checks the homework is an uh, example the teacher carefully checks the homework here uh, carefully is an adverb that modifies the verb check okay we have uh, two examples uh, tomal was extremely enthusiastic enthusiastic about doing the homework here extremely is an adverb that modifies the uh, adjective enthusiastic okay uh here we have uh, another example uh, maliha ran out of the classroom very quickly maliha ran out of the classroom very quickly here uh, very the word uh, very is an adverb that modifies the adverb uh, quickly quickly uh, here we have two uh, adverbs but very uh, uh, modifies the uh, adverb quickly yeah quickly okay after adverbs we have uh, prepositions in our parts of speech uh, prepositions are words that connect a noun or pronoun to another word in a sentence some common prepositions are on in at with about for to do and more we have in our uh, english language we have a uh, huge prepositions okay after prepositions we have conjunctions conjunction uh, conjunctions uh, join together words phrases and clauses for example he and his brother will come here the conjunction and uh, joins uh, the two words he and uh, his brother after uh, this we have uh, another example we have an another example yeah, that is he came to the class and started teaching uh, closes okay these are closes it is easy to say but difficult to do these are phrases uh, she is intelligent therefore she does not need too much help closes okay um, conjunctions join together words phrases and close after conjunctions fully and finally we have interjections in our parts of speech interjections okay interjections are words used to express emotional states uh, okay emotional states uh, they can usually be found in narrative writing interviews and in spoken english
they can stand alone yeah for example oh wow ouch of hey okay they can also be used in the phrase or sentences okay we uh, here in this video uh, we learned about preposition uh, passive speech and there are kinds of personal speech, noun, pronoun, bar, verb, bar, preposition, conjunction, and finally interjections. Okay, then here we have a note. We have a note the same word as different parts of speech. Remember that the same word can be used as different parts of speech. Its function in the sentence will help you to. Uh, determine the parts of speech. Look at the following sentences and notice the functions of the word well in each of sentences. Here we have three examples and uh, well uh, will be uh, different parts of speech. Okay. He does not look well. Here well, the word well is an adjective. Then the student did well in the test. Here the word uh, well is adverb and then uh, well I don't know about that here the word well is an interjection. Did you look at? Okay. I think the parts of speech must be clear uh, for okay for next uh, we have an yeah we have a song for remembering the uh, parcel speech again okay let's play the song announce the name of anything uh, sorry i have not the tune okay just read the nouns the name announce the name of anything announce the name of anything as a school or garden toy or swing adjective tells the kind of noun as a great a small pretty white or brown verbs tell of something being done to read write count sing jump or run how things are done that verb tells as slowly quickly badly well conjunctions join the words together as man and woman wine uh, or, or weather or weather and then uh, the preposition stands before a noun as in or uh, through a door the interjections shows surprise as oh how pretty ah how wise okay the whole are called the parts of speech with reading writing speaking church okay here we have the source of the this song okay thanks for watching after the next video we'll show about another grammatical system goodbye